you're at a bar with some friends. And you're waiting for another friend. Let's say this person's name is Fred. So everybody's at the bar. Everybody was supposed to be there at 10 o'clock. It's already 1030. And Fred is still not there. What do you think happened to Fred? What do you think happened to Fred? Well, he could have gotten stuck in traffic he might or he may have forgotten or he must have gotten in an argument with his girlfriend. Now, these are all possibilities, okay? We are speculating. Remember, speculating is making guesses about something. We're never 100% sure, but we can sound like we're sure about something. Now, right here, all of these three sentences are speculations. I'm going to underline the most important thing in each sentence. At least, this is the most important thing for today's topic. I underline this because I want to highlight the formula for past modals. So for a past modals or to use past modals correctly, you have to first use a modal verb, which in this case is could, might, or may, and must. We use could, might, may, and must to speculate about the past. Now, you might be able to use other modal verbs, but these are the most common ones. And after the modal verb, you have to use have. No, could have, might have, may have, must have. And of course, when you're speaking, you can like combine the sounds. Instead of saying could could have, you can say could have. Instead of saying might have, well, no, you have to say might have, and you have to say may have. Um, you, well, you could say might have but you can't say may of. It doesn't sound right. So could have, might have, may have, and must have. You know, when you're speaking, you can combine the two words to make a different sound. Okay, so modo have and then a verb in the past participle. We have gotten, we have forgotten, and we have gotten. Of course, you can use any verb in the past participle. These are just some examples. Okay, so this is how you speculate in the past. You put the subject first, the person, then the modal verb, then have, and then a verb in the past participle. All of these are speculations, but they don't mean the same thing. Could, might, may, and must, they don't mean the same thing. Let me explain the difference to you. Let me erase this beautiful piece of art. All right, so we use must when we are like very sure about something. Remember, these are speculations. We're never 100% sure. We, we use could when something is possible. And we use may or might when something is less probable. 
Now, in, in this context, may and might don't have any significant difference besides the fact that may sounds a little more formal. It sounds more formal to use may instead of might. You know, just listen. He may have forgotten. He might have forgotten. You know, may just gives it a little more formal touch. So if you're looking for formality, use may instead of might. Okay? Now, let me give you another scenario. Late night English with Mr. Gatica. It's Friday night. We should be out doing something fun. But we're here on this TikTok live. But okay, let me let me stop getting sidetracked. Hmm, let me think of another scenario. All right. Imagine you're walking. Imagine you're walking and you see a woman crying. Imagine you're walking and you see a woman crying on the street. What do you think happened to the woman? Now, obviously, I'm not giving you any context besides the fact that you're on the street and she's crying. So think about all the possibilities, all the things that could have happened to her. I want you to make sentences. I want you to make sentences about what happened to the woman using a past modal. Use the structure. Use must, could, may, might. For example, if, if I see a woman crying on the street, you know, that, that, that's something serious, you know, because people, they don't like to get really emotional in public. So something bad must have really happened for her to be brave enough to cry in public. So maybe, maybe, maybe her dog could have died, you know, when, when people's dogs die, it's something serious, you know. Let's see, Eric, that I said she could broken with her boyfriend. Very close, Derek. She could broken with her mm, boyfriend. Sorry, I'm, I'm writing a little crooked. When I start writing at the bottom, my writing goes like this. Typical teacher stuff. But Eric, Eric said she could broken with her boyfriend. Eric is missing two words. Guys, could you complete the lines, complete the sentence for Eric? Eric said, poor dog, yes. Oh, maybe one of her relatives could have died, yes. One of her relatives could have died. Okay, serious stuff. Serious stuff. She could have been sick, Destiny. Excellent. Something less serious. She could have been sick. She could have been sick. Exactly. Hannah, thank you for the roses. All right, so somebody said have. You know, have is missing. But what, what goes after broken? Broken of, who said it, who said it? Ento, mm. Ento, I don't know how you, how, you, how you say that, man. 
it's a, it's a combination of letters and numbers. It's kind of hard. But aunt, she could have broken up with her boyfriend. That's fine. That's perfect right there. Marco says she, she must have fought with her boyfriend. Hopefully not physically. That's domestic violence. But, okay. You can use past models to speculate. Guys, these sentences right here are excellent examples of speculation. Let's move on to the next part of past models. Speaking hypothetically about the past. I'm going to erase this now. All right, remember these models right here. Must, could, may, might. We use these to speculate. We use must when we are very sure about something. We use could to express a possibility, and we use may, might to express a possibility that is less probable, okay? Less likely to happen. For speaking hypothetically about the past, we use some different models. All right, let me give you an example. This morning, I didn't go to the gym. I usually go to the gym on Friday mornings. So check this out. If I had woken up early today, I would have gone to the gym. Did I go to the gym? No. Did I wake up earlier? No. This is all hypothetical. Okay, I'm speaking hypothetically about the past. This is not this did not happen. But if you notice, I use the same structure as speculations. Okay? Now, let me give you some more examples because would is not the only model that you can use to, to speak hypothetically about the past. If I had woken up earlier today, I would have gone to the gym. That's one thing. Or maybe I could have made breakfast. I could have made breakfast. Could have, could have. If I had woken up earlier today, I would have gone to the gym. I could have made breakfast. If I had woken up early today, I might or I may have washed clothes. That's another possibility. So, these are the modal verbs that you are going to use to talk or speak hypothetically about the past. Let me write them over here. We use would, we use could, we use might and may. Yes, could, may, might, and may again. And there's one more that I didn't write here because it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have made sense. Should. Now, again, these don't mean the same thing besides might and may. They, they do mean the same thing. But we use would to imagine your behavior. 
to imagine your behavior. How would you behave in a situation? Okay. We use could, again, to talk about a possibility. There's a little dog crying, poor dog. And we use might and may for a less probable possibility. And should, and I'm going to give you an example of should in a minute. We use should to talk about the correct thing to do. Like, obviously, going to the gym is important for your health, for your physical and your mental health. So, um, I could say I should have woken up earlier. That would have been the correct thing to do in my case. I should have woken up earlier, but I didn't. Again, all of these are to speak hypothetically about the past. So whenever you want to use past modals, it's important to use three different verbs. The modal verb, have, and the past participle. Okay, would have, past participle, could have, past participle, might have past participle, may have past participle, and should have past participle. And again, you can combine the modal and have, and it's going to give you a different sound. Instead of saying would have, you can say would have. Instead of saying could have, you could say could have. Instead of saying might have, might have, may have, well, that doesn't work. You have to say may have, okay? And should have, you could say should have. All right, and again, there is no significant difference between might and may, besides the fact that may sounds just a bit more formal than might. I have a question for all of you who are here on this live. I'm going to erase this now. It's 10.14. So it's kind of late. I imagine that most of the people here are adults or teenagers. Children are probably, the, the children are probably asleep now. At least I hope. Well, maybe not. It's Friday. Anyways, I have a question for you. If you had been given... A million dollars when you were 10 years old, what would you have bought? If you had been given a million dollars when you were 10 years old, what would you have bought? I want... I, will, I want everybody to start their sentence with, I would have bought, okay? I did all the hard work for you. I would have bought. And then just write what you would have bought. You know, think about yourself. At 10 years old, what were your desires as a 10-year-old? In my case, I would have bought a lot of Pokemon cards. Oh, man, I loved Pokemon when I was a child. Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh were like my hobbies as a 10-year-old. I would have bought a lot of Legos. Vainilla, Canela, good job. Gigi says candies. Elizabeth, I would have bought a house at 10 years old. Wow, you were thinking in the, about the future. That's, that's really, really nice. A bicycle. Gigi says candy. Elizabeth, she says she would have bought a car. What? Elizabeth, you were so mature at 10 years old. Maybe... Well, I don't know. Young boys, we liked Ferraris, Lamborghinis, you know, fast cars at that age. So I understand a house and a car. 
I would have bought a lot of houses. Yes, houses. In Latin America, with a million dollars, you can buy a lot of houses. That's not true for the United States, Canada. Cynthia, I would have bought a mini microwave. Maritza, I would have bought a hotel with a million dollars. Are they really that cheap? Well, okay, everybody. Thank you so much. Let me ask another question to you then to talk hypothetically about the past. Well, I, I would like to do a listening activity with you that ends with writing. I'm going to tell you the story about Jose and Brenda. Jose and Brenda's story. Okay? Jose and Brenda's story. And then I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? So, I'm going to tell you about Jose and Brenda's story. Um, it's going to take maybe a minute or two to tell you the whole story. And then I'm going to ask you some questions about the story where you could write sentences to talk hypothetically about the past. Okay? She says she knows the story. Who is she? Who are you? Who are you? All right. Well, let me tell you about Jose and Brenda's story. Ah. I wish I had an animator to make my words reality. Okay, so Jose and Brenda are a married couple. Okay? Jose and Brenda are a married couple. Let me write that for you. Married. And they have been together for nine years. Two weeks ago, it was their anniversary, okay? Their nine-year anniversary. And Jose had just gotten a promotion at work. You know, he had some extra money. He got a bonus. And he decided that he wanted to do something really special for Brenda. So, on their anniversary... Brenda was taking a nap, and Jose snuck out of the house while Brenda was taking a nap. He went to a Mercedes-Benz, dealership, and bought Brenda a brand new black SUV, a brand new black Mercedes SUV, and he was, he drove it back home, you know, on the way home, he was excited, he's thinking, oh yeah, my baby's gonna love this Mercedes, he pulls up to the driveway, and he honks the horn, beep, beep, Brenda comes to the door, she opens the door, she looks outside, and she sees the black Mercedes truck. Then she sees that Jose gets out of the truck. Jose says, happy anniversary, baby. Brenda didn't look happy. Brenda did not look happy. When she saw Jose, Brenda got really angry. She started yelling at him. Jose, why did you buy this expensive truck? Why didn't you ask me about this truck? What is wrong with you? You're an idiot. Jose was heartbroken. He just wanted to do something nice for his wife. 
but she was angry because he didn't consult buying the Mercedes truck with her first. So Brenda stormed back into the house and Jose went back into the Mercedes truck to cry. He was devastated. He couldn't imagine. He didn't imagine that Brenda would react that way. So tell me, what would you have done if you were Brenda? Okay, so you know, Brenda, she reacted in a really angry manner. Some people say her reaction is justified. Some people say that she overreacted. What would you have done if you were in Brenda's shoes? Okay. I want to be Jose's girlfriend, Laura. <laughs> You're funny. Um, Esme, I would hug him and say thank you, my love. Okay, don't forget the have. I would have hugged him. And said, oh, poor dog. Um, thank you. I mean, there's this dog, my neighbor's dog upstairs is crying. Okay, I would have told him, thank you, baby. All right. All right, thank you. Sertido Rico says, I would have hit him very hard. All right. Violence. <laughs> well, that's one question, all right? That's one question. Let's change it up. What would you have done after Brenda yelled at you? So imagine you were Jose. What would you have done after Brenda yelled at you? I would have... Juan says, I would have gotten happy. I would have talked with him about the money in our life. Vanilla, I love that. That's very mature. He could have brought the tug back to the dealership and have his money refunded. Ro, that's good. That's good. I would have said bye bye, see you tomorrow, and drive my new truck. All right. I would have said bye bye. <laughs> I would have looked for some other girls. <laughs> oh my God. Infidelity is not nice. But I guess some people might look at that as an option. I would have looked for some other girls. <laughs> I don't condone in that behavior, but I have to write what she said. I would have talked with her, good. All right, all right. I would have driven very quickly, listened to Motorhead, all right, awesome, awesome. Oh, yes, looked. Thank you, thank you. Who said that? Who said that? Hiro, thank you. I would have looked for some other girls. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed Brenda and Jose's story. That is all for this live.